We are farmers. No, this was in that studio. Um, when you go to GM at that time, I'm not sure how they do it now, but um, we went to a place called Design Development. That's why I have this lined up like this, because in Design Development, it was just a place for you to kind of like show who you were and let the bosses or whoever in the building that wanted to kind of see where they wanted to put you. So uh, when I was in design development, they were doing a V16 coupe, what they call a Little King's car, which had some influence on the later, some later designs. But this is the model, this is probably the only gouache rendering I did while I was in design development. There was actually a 3D model of this. Boy, I wish I had the model of that. Dave Rossi modeled it for me. And, um, but that was that project, because it was a V16 coupe. And this upswept S-Line, I was told many years later, uh, when I went to Cadillac, which was, you know, 30 years after that, or 20 years after that, uh, he said, I heard you had some influence on the 67 Buick, and I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, that S-Line. Well, as you can see, this S-Line goes up over the rear wheel. Buick is from the front and drop down, which is more like what their cars did. In fact, that's what it's like this model here. You can see what... It, I never found a scale model of a 60, 67 rib, I would, or a Buick. See how, how that line comes down and does that? So that's kind of like... What's and I, I wasn't consciously doing the Buick, but when he told me that, I thought, well, maybe it did have an influence. I don't know. Or it just showed him a way to do that as a continuous line rather than a chrome uh, spear. This, this is just added over a regular surface. 